cutting trees in Coloma, and paddling Friendship Lake. We tried to get a head start on Memorial Day weekend by bringing a camper up to Coloma. We got a late start and stopped at a wayside for a picnic dinner. The plan was to relax and take the pack boats on a nearby lake Saturday. As we pulled into Coloma, we saw Mother Nature had other plans. Friendship Lake is a 125-acre lake with a maximum depth of 15 feet. Located in Adams County, there's a public boat launch, facilities, and a swim area. When we stopped at the restaurant on the lake last year, we talked about how we should paddle there. We made it back to paddle, but unfortunately the restaurant had burned down. would you have to be before you thought you could sit in that chair? Before I could sit in what? In that chair. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> no. I'm going with drunk, because there is no way that I could have sound mind and judgment think I could sit in that chair. Fuck no. I might do it on a bet.
Sure is a pretty boat you got there. Is an island we can go. So you back that way? Yeah. Somewhere up on top of that hill is a uh, restaurant on top of that bluff. Rock formation. I don't see it. I don't either. I've never eaten there either. Aaron? to your right there's a fin popped up Looking, I don't see them. I want to say they're back behind the dock that's over there, but I, I do not see them either. They could be up in those cattails. Out what you're saying, I'm trying to figure out if I need to be looking somewhere else. It seems splashing in the water. I did want to yell. I get it. I was just trying to explain to you what was going through my mind. <laughs> well, I sat there and did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Enjoying nature, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Actively participating and enjoying the splendor of nature. Peninsula. 
in there. I don't want to stay out longer, but I don't want to hit the wind. And you can see up ahead, it's windier. <laughs> kind of have to pee. Don't have my pee style. You have one in your car. Yeah. And I got one in the car. Does me no good out here. That's true. Don't want to go up that little. No, I don't want to. I mean, can you feel the wind? Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I want to. I don't think we should. Yeah, I'm paddling straight across and I'm cutting a 45. <laughs> I don't think it's dangerous yet. But, oh no. Uh, I don't want to be out here when it gets dangerous. I don't know what time it is either. I mean, 9 15? Okay. 10, it'll be bad. Yes. And 11, it would be, I don't want to be out here. Well, not only that, at 10 you're going to have the people coming out with their boats and... Yep, with their weight. <laughs> and probably jet skis and... I feel like it's a little early, but... Yeah. <laughs> 
And what are we picking? We're picking spruce shoots. Spruce shoots. We're going to make spruce syrup. So now you can tell what they are? No. 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 No clue. This is for sure a blue. This little guy. And this one right here. That smells good. Nope. Can't smell it or don't like I it? I don't like it. Yeah. I want to say that those are black cherry, the flowers. Cat yeah, That doesn't bother me. That's cat piss. No, that's fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, that's cat piss. <laughs> attention to the arborita. Ooh. That oh, one's not looking so good. Jeez. Um, that one's doing all right. Yeah, but there's not much else around it. Yeah, but like last time we were up here, the ones ahead, like a lot of shade, looked like they were doing better. Yes. Mosquitoes sure are out. Yes, they are. That one? Uh, yeah, those ones are doing a lot better than it was last time. Yep. Looks like they had last time. You're right. <laughs> I don't smell it. No. Oh, now I do. Jesus. Yeah, like, like it crossed a line. Like there was a line. <laughs> These berries are starting. Rabid. Mm, 
that guy. He did his belts on him. Poison ivy. <laughs> it's all poison ivy. Almost. <laughs> Anything in the nest? Okay, how do you get syrup out of needle? So, what you do, <coughs> what you do is you take the, uh, the needles and you mix them with syrup, uh, with um, brown sugar. You can part basically by weight. You let it sit for a month in the sun. And all the water or all the sap, whatever comes out of the spruce boughs or and then you boil it after to Strain it, you boil it, strain it, and then you have your syrup. That's a simplified version. And how did you learn this? YouTube. And Facebook. He's done it before. Ooh! No! Looks like something actually has been eaten. And he's got sprouts down here. Yeah. So it's not horrible, but something to eat him. Eat everything off the top. <clears throat> You almost stepped on a toad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another hunk of bone? Yep. <clears throat> oh, great, now my fingerprints are on the evidence. Yep. Oh, man. Another one, huh? Two. Okay. One on the trail, one off. Can you hold? Okay. Yeah, I, see. I see the one in the trail. Oh, okay. Teeny little. Teeny little. Oh. Compared to this? Oh, yes. Oh, now they're side by side. Yeah, but now he's in the grass and I get a shittier photo. You leave that piece of wood there for a reason. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like I cleared anything away. Oh yeah, it does. No, because it still looks like it's a mess over here. <laughs> 